This is a Hyundai Elantra with a 2.4. And what I'm doing is I'm replacing the uh, piston rod bearings. I got this block, it's a used block. And it came in a good shape. Uh, the only thing I noticed on this block is that um, piston rod bearings are kind of wore out. Probably have a few miles on them. I uh, went ahead and bought some new ones. I already got them installed. Um, but uh, before I put all this together, I want to show you how to measure the clearances and make sure you are within the specs. Uh, first thing you gotta do, you gotta, you gotta get your specifications. I got my specifications from Old Data. And as you can see, uh, right here, the connecting rod, connecting rod bearing oil clearance is gonna be 0 0.031 to 0 0.045 millimeters. Uh, or 0 0.0012 to 0.0017 uh, thousands of an inch. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got this plastic gauge right here and I marked this red, uh, this is 0 0.005, which is in between the 0 0.0012 and the 0 0.0017. So we need to be around here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut I'm just gonna cut a small piece. It's just a small piece. This one measures from one thousandth of an inch to three thousandths of an inch. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in here. It's not gonna stay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a uh, loop just a little bit and we're gonna stick it in here that way it will stay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it make sure you install it the right direction they uh they have direction so we're gonna install it make sure it doesn't fall off on you We're gonna torque this down. Uh, we're gonna torque this down to uh, 13 foot pounds, and then we're gonna do 88 degrees. I'm just waiting for my tote wrench right now. Okay, so we're gonna go to 13 foot pounds. Thirteen. Thirteen, that's thirteen right there. So what I'm gonna do now, I know it says it says eighty-eight degrees. But I'm gonna do it on two stages. I'm gonna do 44 first, and then I'm gonna add the other 44 coming to together to 88. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna do 44. That's 44. That's four. That'll be eighty-eight, and that'll be eighty-eight. So the first pass thirteen foot pounds, and the second pass eighty-eight degrees. So now that we torque to specs, what we're gonna do is gonna, we're going to uh, remove it. We're 
going to remove it. And we're gonna check if we are within specification. As you can see, my bad. Our plastic gauge is right there. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I'm gonna be able to get a close up. I'll be right there. Okay, guys. So I got a close up right there. I think you you able to see my plastic gauge right there. And now, with uh, we need to where are you at? We need to be within right here. Uh, 0 0.005. Excuse me. 0 0.0015. So next thing you gotta do is you gotta you gotta measure it, and as you can see, that's perfect. We are within specs. I already checked all of them. Same thing with the uh, main caps. Uh, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take them off, put the plastic gauge. Uh, first, you gotta look up your um, uh, specifications. Uh, I just got. I only got connecting rods. I don't have the main caps in here, but it's going to be the same process. Just uh, download your uh, specifications and your torque specifications as well. Uh, your clearances and your torque specifications. And I uh, should do the trick. So I already checked them all. I left this one like this for a purpose so I can show you how to do it. Uh, now that I know that I'm within specifications, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this back together. Uh, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, once you're done with your plastic gauge, it gets stuck in here and inside too. So make sure you clean it. Make sure you get rid of it. It gets stuck pretty good in there. And make sure you clean it over here too. Don't leave this plastic gauge in there, otherwise you're gonna have problems. And now that um, now that I know that it's all within specs, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. But I just wanted to show you how to do it. Um, you can get this out of your local store, O'Reilly's. I got this from O'Reilly's, and my specifications I downloaded them from all data. But that's it for now. I'm gonna put this back together. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this content and you wanna learn, learn more about uh, how to put engines back together, let me know. Uh, you can put, if you have any questions, you can put them on the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And also like and subscribe and share. Well, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.